Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mini It's a Bitsy teeny weeny love reading from Gemstone Tarot. This is for August the 12th to the 19th. Well, Capricorn, it started off being that. It kind of is, kind of for the next week or so, but we all know it could be longer or shorter. Those cards are ready, baby. Capricorn, woo! Sun, moon, and rising. Ooh. Thunder. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Weird. I was just drawn to the bottom of the pack for you, Capricorn, which I haven't done for anybody else. The big old fat, lovely Ace of Cups is there. Ding, ding, a ding, a ling, dong. Okay. Woohoo. <laughs> now, even better, so is the page. I know. God, that's great. You might be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. There may be some kind of truce and rebuilding in a relationship, okay? One or the other of you has decided to stop the fight. This is the Seven of Wands in reverse. This is the combats. Often this for me comes up in a love reading when there is a circular argument. In other words, I can't believe we're arguing about this again. There is some kind of entrenched thing between the two of you that never gets solved that you're always fighting about. It can even be an old argument. Page of Cups is the card of apology. So I suppose, Capricorn, you need to decide whether you need to apologise to somebody or whether they're going to apologise to you. It could be a two-way street, to be honest, because look, the Ace of Cups is where self-love overflows into love for others so you might both be feeling quite loved up if you're looking to meet someone this is good especially if you're looking to meet someone quite sexy a fire sign three of wands leo sagittarius aries and the three of cups in reverse somebody may Somebody may stop their partying ways. That could just be for a few of you, particularly if you're dealing with a, fi a fire sign because they're very party animals usually. It just feels quite honest. It feels like you can trust what this person is saying, offering, apologising about this week. Okay, it's quite sweet. It's quite nice, Capricorn. And I know that you're ruled by Saturn and you might feel naturally suspicious and I don't blame you at all. But there's a lot of love on the table. You've got the biggest love cards out of all of the signs so far. I know. Even if it is thundering outside, which it is. Okay, Capricorn, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon. I like this for you. Heart to heart conversations, apologies and making up. Okay, it does look like she's trying to chew his ear off and he doesn't look very happy about it. Don't go down that route, okay? Finances and career, you may have argued about money or it could be with someone you're involved with through work. But you also get religious factors, okay? And for me, that's about differences. This is to do with spiritual differences, okay? It can just be differences of opinion or differences in values of how you see something, particularly about sharing money, okay? Or sharing time, sharing effort, sharing resources. But do you know what? If you're looking for to make up, this has got makeup sloshing all over it. Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, very, very nice. We won't kick that out of bed for eating crisps, Capricorn, at all. Ooh, can you hear that thunder? Oh my God, I don't believe it. Now, who else got this? I think it was Sagittarius. As if it's not enough, Capricorn, that you get the Ace of Cups and you get the Page of Cups. You get the soulmates card. The 
this could even be a friendship thing about a bestie or a family member this is old love that goes a long way okay if someone apologizes this week capricorn the least you can do hear them out you may be inspired to reciprocate okay so do like share and subscribe and check out your monthly reading as well and i'll see you soon namaste